Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina, as always. First things first, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. My dad, Richard Friedberg, my father-in-law, Brian Mangrum, to my brother, Peter Friedberg, and to my brother-in-law, Martin Mangrum. Happy Father's Day, guys. Well, today is going to be a bit of a special shave for me because today I'm going to be shaving with the Friedberg. Kind of hard to wrap your head around, but okay, here you go. I'm shaving with the Friedberg. This is going to be really quite a fun shave. I've got uh, both the soap and the aftershave to, uh, to go through today. I'm going to be starting off though with a product that I have not really used more than once before. I've also picked up a new pre-shave, which is this Razor Rock Prebarba, which is supposed to be, uh, if not the same as, very similar to the Floyd Sandalore Gel, which is discontinued and can no longer be found. Um, but this may well be a worthy replacement. I've never tried the Floyd, so I really don't know. I have no way to compare. Uh, if you have used both, well, we'd love to know what your opinion is about them. This is a very, very different feeling pre-shave than the, uh, the shave gel I was using before, which is more coconut, coconut oil based. This is glycerin, castor oil. Definitely has a very nice scent to it. Does not smell medicinal at all. Is not oily or greasy. Just feels slick. But you'll also notice it does not lather up. So unlike the shave gel, we just apply this straight up. Recommendation is apparently let this sit and soak in for 20, 30. So let me go ahead and do that. Rinse off my hands. It's always a good test once you apply the pre-shave how slick your hands are when it comes time to rinse them off. And there's definitely a layer of slickness there. But as I said, a different face feel than the uh, pre-shaved gel, which as you were applying it, um, does foam up or sun up a little bit. All right, today, today's brush, it's got to be the Rod Neep, the Boar. I've had some comments about how big this brush is, and it might be too big for face lathering. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd say uh, absolutely not. Yes, it is big, but it loads soap amazingly well. It has been an absolute joy to use as a face lathering brush. Yeah, it's big, but guess what? You know what? You cover a lot of ground, build up the lather, great. No, loving it. All right. So for today's soap, oh, did I mention today's soap? It's the Friedberg. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, this is yet another uh, another towel-based soap from, from Razor Rock, same base as the Triple XT. So no surprises about the performance. The scent... The scent in the tub is light. This is not going to overpower you when you first open the tub with this, you know, enormous waft of perfume. But the scent is definitely there. Um, for me, the first thing I smell is a sweet, uh, a sweet pineapple smell, with you know some very kind of light, maybe some woodsy scents a little bit. Um, nothing else really powerful really comes through at that point until you begin to lather. And I'm just, uh, I'm just loading the brush now. This boar brush just picks up so much soap. I've already been scooping out parts of this, by the way. So if it, this looks like it's already been used a lot, I've been scooping out quite a bit for samples. So it's not that I'm just absolutely tearing through this. All right, plenty loaded. Smell really starts to come out there. And then you can smell maybe a bit more of the patchouli. You can definitely smell a bit of a woodsy note there. It's not a simple, sweet scent. All right, let's go ahead and start lathering this up. Oh, that's definitely going to need more water. Yeah, like I said before, this brush tends to pick up so much soap. I think I've used this pre-shave maybe only once or twice, um, but I haven't really noticed, at least in those first uses, any real impact on the on the lather, either breaking down or being, you know, being hard to farm. These tallow soaps feel very soft on the face while you're lathering too. Nice, nice smooth, slick feel to it. Oh yeah, definitely more water. Brush is broken in so nicely. It's soft, splays easily. Wow, yeah, that just picked up so much soap. Really hard not to overload. All right, I think a little more water. More water! 
Well, I hope everyone's having a great Father's Day. So far, the weather here has been fantastic. We have an old friend from Holland visiting, an artist friend who's having a grand old time painting up part of the house again. Never quite know what it's going to look like, but whatever he does is going to be amazing. I have absolutely no doubt about it. But, man, I wish I brought it in with here with me. He was describing to me his uh, his old shave brush, which is an old bore brush that broke off the stem. So he took a little wooden dowel and glued it to the top and wrapped some tin foil around it. That was uh, that's his brush replacement. And he is normally been shaving with a Bic disposable, you know, for two, three, four weeks at a time. So yesterday I hooked him up good. But before we start about that. Continuing shaving with the Stealth Slant every day. This is a different blade for me though. This is the Gillette Black, um, the Ninja, which in other razors has not really worked for me. It was either rough or I would get nicks. Just wasn't, you know, it was sharp, but just not that smooth. I've actually had, uh, so far, very good luck shaving with this. Smooth, easy shaves. Um, some of the other blades I've used, like the Ladas, which I think actually is a bit duller, just did not, didn't work as well in this razor for me. You know, I found myself having to make too many passes, and they didn't last. All right, anyway, so back to my friend from Holland visiting. He has a couple days growth, and I decide, you know what, let's go all out. Let's give him a razor to shave with. I gave him the Schick Krona, nice, mild, easy to use razor. Brand new Voshkod blade. Got him set up with a sample of the Friedberg and the Rooney Badger that Paul Bambino so kindly gave me. He and my dad apparently only a few days before. I spent some time watching the uh, the lather tutorial, so he got to put into action. A mix of the dry and the wet technique because uh, the brush fell into the sink. So, you know, what are you going to do? But, got a great lather. And then, and this will be a very familiar story to some of you. In fact, maybe to many of you. The first, the first few strokes. Well, you know, it's a new razor. You're trying to find the angle. He's used to a disposable. I remind him in those first few, gentle. Don't press down, there's no need to use pressure to shave. And he just starts shaving. And he keeps looking at himself like, wow. <laughs> and it just, you know, a couple, I think it's three or four days growth is just falling off. And he makes like a funny face for a second, he starts touching it like that. It takes a careful look at the razor. And then, and this is the part that will ring so true for so many of you. What happens? No, not a cut. No, not a nick. Mm -mm. No. That big smile appears on his face where he realizes, wow, okay, that was really good. A really good shape. And uh, a day later, he's still talking about how smooth the skin is. So, that's convert number God knows how many. I had set a goal last year to try to get a person a month to switch. I don't know if I've been totally successful in that regard. Certainly, maybe not in person, but I've tried whenever I could to help convince people to Give it a whirl. If it doesn't work for you, no worries. You just go back to what you're doing before. But you might find that what you thought was working was actually so terrible and you just convinced yourself it was working. No one should shave with a disposable razor for a month. It's absurd. Anyway, so today, I've just told him, hey, you know what? I'm going to gift to you that, that Badger Rush I bet that brings a smile to Paul Bombino's face as well, knowing where it's going to be going. He's also going to take that Schick Krona, which is 
I got from Zachary Roth, which my younger son is done with. He's moved on to a different razor. And so Hybrid from Dorp gets to go home back to Holland without his makeshift board brush, which I will hopefully demonstrate in a, in a video later. Goes home with a nice badger. Shikrona. Start a pack of some Boschkod blades. And, of course, since he lives in Holland, off to the Hema, the department store, to pick up some razor blades. And then off to any local drugstore to pick up some for the Hunt. The Gilly Hand. <laughs> the Foglockty Hand. So overall, this has been a, uh, a very successful weekend. Shaving wise, for sure. Delicious breakfast. Poached eggs, some of which were fresh from the chicken coop. That is kind of hard to beat. All right, now. I've also had the wonderful pleasure of reminding people about a simple golden rule in life that really everybody should follow, if at all possible. And that is, you know, pretty simple. I think it's also known as the Will Wheaton rule, but in this case, I like to think of it as the golden rule. And the golden rule is pretty simple. Don't be a dick. You can disagree with people. In fact, you can even get angry at people. But remember, in the end, there's lots of ways to disagree. And you can still have very vehement disagreements and arguments. But you can still have those without being a dick about it. I know sometimes it's hard especially when the other person is not doing that. But, you know what? In the end, state your opinion, stick with your facts, express your beliefs. Certainly when it comes to opinions, it's a matter of, well, it's your opinion, and of course you believe it as much as anybody else. And like any opinion you believe, that it should be shared by everybody. Otherwise, you know. But, definitely two ways to go about it. And it, for me, simple rule in general, just always try to follow that. All right, this is the Against the Grain Pass. Now, for those of you that are new to wet shaving, well, in fact, for a lot of us, you've made the wet shaving for a while, it really is a smart move every now and then is just look at your hair growth again because it's sort of easy to misremember or think it's symmetrical I've been having trouble on one part and the fact is that Hair down here for me doesn't grow in the same pattern on either side. And so, this is actually across the grain. Because against the grain, for me, is actually down like that. And that is very uncomfortable to shave. No matter what razor I use. It can be done, but it is just uncomfortable and frankly... Just not worth the mythical, ultimate, total BBS all day long. So, what I strive for down here, probably like a lot of you, is just 
as close as I can get it without any nicks or irritation. I don't know about you, but when I go to work, there isn't really somebody there when you come into the building who, uh, you know, checks your shave every day. You know, no one sends you to the penalty box because it's not ultimate BBS. And also, the hair grows back pretty quick. It's not like you can get a BBS at 8 o'clock in the morning and still be enjoying that at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, at least I can't. All right, well, as always, those Talos soaps are just so smooth and so easy to use. This new base is just, well, it's just fantastic. You know, I definitely, I don't know, it's hard to say whether I really, you know, totally prefer Talos always over vegetable soaps because the the TFS soaps are vegetable soaps, and they're fantastic. The Wickham soaps are vegetable soaps, and they're fantastic. This is just a, you know, a different, a different feel. And if I have to choose between the two, well, this would be my preference. That was true for the Queen Charlotte soaps as well. Just... Fantastic towel based soaps. But I definitely understand there's lots of people who don't use towel soaps for a host of reasons. All right. Yeah, I definitely can still smell. Nice light scent from that. Yeah, you are not going to be just bowled over by this, you know, the sheer power of that scent. I don't think it's just meant to be like that at all. Mm. All right. I'm going to do a quick, quick pass with the aloe. I've got to get most of the soap off my face. It's always soap in my ear. What can you do? It's big. <laughs> it's easy for soap to get in there. Oh, Lord. All right. Go for some, uh, go for some. Go for the island block. Kids, don't use the super sharp side. It is amazing how smoothly the island block glides over your skin and how unbelievably sharp those broken shards are. I just haven't taken the time to, you know, rub them off or use the nail file to kind of reduce the edge. I just try to keep it away. Wow, good shave. Very, very good shave. Yeah, that soap is just like the other towel base. It's just fantastic. Great face feel. Smooth. Scent is, uh, well, frankly, the scent is lovely. All right, let's rinse off the alum. Oh, yep. Glorious shape. Yeah, and by the way, if you're wondering if this was a soap that I somehow commissioned or asked to be made, well, that's not the case. The soap was offered as a uh, lighthearted and friendly recognition, and I was very, uh, I'm very surprised to hear that it was coming. It's a little bit humbling, but of course, you know, <laughs> there it is. It's a limited run. This is really quite a fun thing. So if you've been out there and you purchased it, well, good on you. I hope you're loving and enjoying it. All right. Well, of course, there's only one way to finish off the shave. I mean, there's only one possible way, and that is with... The Friedberg aftershave spot. I mean, what were you guys thinking? Of course it had to be that. What were you looking for? Like Floyd Blue? 
no. All right. Shake before use. Apply liberally, even though you only have, you know, a bottle or two. When this is gone, I think it is gone, my friends. I don't think it's coming back. So, that's the other thing to think about. Enjoy these while you have them. Don't hard these. Leave them in your fortress of solitude, because God, what would happen if it ever gets used up? It might be the end of the world as we know it. No, it won't. There's always more of some other products. This smells fantastic. This is a much stronger, much richer version of the same scent as the soap. Uh, it goes on easy as an alcohol-based splash, but no sting, no real burn. The scent is fantastic, and I have found that it has lasted for me at least a couple hours on the skin. It's not going to be all day, a couple hours at best, but it does smell fantastic. We've had four thumbs up, so my sons have given it a thumbs up. My wife thinks it smells fantastic. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to to judge because, yeah, of course, it smells amazing. But so far, just really, really enjoying it. Well, that's really it for me for today. I hope you've all had a fantastic Father's Day or had a chance to congratulate someone on Father's Day. And until next time, enjoy your saves. Goodbye.